Hi, thanks for taking the time to check out the Limo Anywhere software system. This is uh, this will do your calendar, your accounting, your dispatch, and your reservations. And let's jump right into it. So the first thing I want to show you about this software is it's cloud-based, which means that it's available anywhere, anytime, on any device. So it's going to work on a laptop, a desktop, an iPad, an iPhone, an Android. If you've got a connection to the Internet, you're in business. And as you can see, we're just in a browser. We're popping in an address. We're putting in a username and a password, and poof. We are in business. And this is the dispatch grid for the software. This is where most of your time is going to be spent. And what I want to show you about this screen right here is that everything that you're seeing is totally customizable by you. And that customization is going to come from right here where we have the grid set up. So, for example, over here we've got the pickup time. We've got pickup time. We've got passenger name, passenger name. Let's say we wanted to flip these. We want passenger name to be first click drag drop and let's say we want to skinny this up because look at all this wasted space right here I'm gonna change this over to 100 pixels and I do update keep your eye right here passenger name is now first and the column is half as wide as it was so you have all of these variables to play with you can make this look like whatever you'd like so over here we have our manage statuses and what manage statuses is is the concept of a status is from the moment that a trip exists it must at all times belong to one of these statuses and a status is anything that you want it to be and you can make edits to it by coming over here to edit and if arrived is not a status that you want um, you could change it to whatever you'd like and you could disable it, you could add your own status, you could reword these to be code 1, code 2, code 3. It's all customizable to your preferences. So something else I want to show you about the dispatch grid is right over here we've got the flights information. So I got my flight scheduled time, my flights actual time, as well as the gate and the terminal that it's going into. And this is updated every 60 seconds by the FAA. So let's get started by making a reservation. The way that we'll do this is you're going to have this page up here, or this button up here that says New Reservation. When I click on it, it allows me to enter a new reservation. And this is the reservation field. Now there's a lot of information here, but don't let that overwhelm you. The only fields that are required are whoever is paying for it, our billing contact, pickup date, and the pickup time. Everything else if you collect this information, you'll have better records, but it's not a requirement. So let's say our guy calls in and says his name is Alex. So I type in Alex, and it automatically goes into the system and finds every Alex that we've ever done business with. And we just make sure we've got the right Alex, and it automatically knows who our billing contact is. It knows what company he's with, knows his email address and his phone number. All of this it knows because he has an account with us. We have done business with this person before. So now all we have to do is enter a pickup date and a pickup time. We can do a drop off. And by the way, it does military time. And uh, over here, this is part of our FAA interaction. So our person, Alex, over there tells us he's coming into DFW Airport and he's coming in on American Airlines and the flight number is 1. And I'm going to do verify and pick up. And now what's happening is we're going to the FAA and the FAA is saying we have a problem. There's no such thing as flight number 1. However, on American Airlines, arriving at your airport on the date around the time that you specified are all of these flights. So now I can quiz my guy and say, where are you coming from? And he says, Vegas, and I'm getting in at uh, 7 p.m. Oh, you meant flight 670. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. And now we're locked in right here, and we are not chasing a ghost flight. And let's do our drop-off address. And we have integration with Google so what's about to happen is we're about to go to Google and Google's going to confirm the address that we put so it said 901 main here's all the ones in the area so I select it and it automatically drops it in here I can enter trip notes I could enter dispatch notes if I needed to 
Over here I can do a service type. Let's see, we are coming from the airport. And a vehicle type. Now vehicle types are groups of cars that bill at the same rate per hour. So we may have 10 four-door sedans. They bill at a different rate than the SUVs. That's what we're trying to differentiate here. So I grab it and I come over to my rate table. Yeah, I can charge them on an hourly basis and I can also charge them on a distance based basis and what's happening here is I've put what I'm charging per mile and when I click on it what happens is right over here it's already done my math in other words it went into Google it plotted the pickup and it plotted the drop off and it knows the distance and it automatically applied it to our rate calculator and if you needed to make any changes you could come in and make the edits right here and at this point we can assign the driver we could also assign the car, but nine times out of ten, you don't know what those are going to be at this point in the reservation, so I'm going to leave them blank. I hit Save Reservation. It's confirming the flight one more time. Now, what just happened when I hit Save is it automatically sent an email to Alex over here at this email address. And that email that it sent was a confirmation that looks like this. So I've got my logo up at the top, I've got the confirmation number, the date, the time, who it was, who the billing contact is, how he's paying, where we picked up, where we're dropping off, plus our rate. And if you don't like the rate being on the confirmation, you can turn that off. Down here we've got our terms and conditions, which are customizable. This is, you know, don't, don't smoke in the car, that sort of thing. So there's our confirmation. And let's say at this point we want to go charge his credit card because we want to take a deposit. So I come over to Payment, click Use the Stored Credit Cards. These are the cards that I have on file for him. And I do Authorize and Capture. And let's say I want to take a $20 deposit on this account. I submit it. It automatically just emailed George over here with a uh, receipt. There's my receipt and now here's what the total was we've received 20 therefore there's 45 still outstanding I'm gonna close that up and that is how we make our trip so some other things to show you are let's go take a look at the calendar this is just an overview of all your trips for the day actually all of our trips for the week I'm, for, I'm sorry we can see a monthly view right here and let's go do some dispatching now so our driver is logged in he has an app on his phone note I am logging in we're doing a browser based app the actual app that your client will use is on his smartphone and it is an app it is not browser based I can't emulate it in this demo so I'm going to use our browser version but so what happens is when we want to dispatch we double click and we change a status to dispatched and we go grab what driver we're going to be we can drab, grab the car right here and I click on OK and it's given me a warning I've double booked my guy so let's go take a look and figure out if I have double booked I can come over here to my graph and look yep I have double booked so I can make the necessary changes and we've got drag and drop and it's also complaining because my car is double booked so let's go look at our cars now because now we've got our drivers names across the top and we've got the time of day over here so when I go click on cars same concept now I've got my cars across the top and the time of day is over here and again at the beginning of the day all of your trips will be over here in the unassigned column and that warning that we got a moment ago that we were double booking yes it's quite apparent we have double booked but then we got double, uh, drag and drop and just stretch the drag these to wherever you want them to be so let's uh, let's do our dispatch again or actually we already have done it so let's go see if we got a trip oops I guess that I am not logged in as Des here I think I'm logged in as Mo Nope, I'm logged in as Des. Hmm. 
Okay. There we go. There's our trip. So our trip is for Austin Powers, and we can see our pickup over here and our drop off at the airport, and we can view details. And first thing we have to do is we can accept or reject the trip. When we accept it, we click on accept. And over here, this is going to turn green as soon as we update. So this will refresh every 60 seconds. And it turns green. If you would have rejected it, it would turn red. What you're really concerned with are the gray ones. That means that he has not acknowledged it. So either he's asleep or his phone's dead, something's wrong, and you've got to find a plan B and figure out who's going to do this trip. And as your driver is doing the trips, he can update his status. And so when he's on the way, he clicks on on the way. And over here, when we refresh, and again, this will refresh every 60 seconds, we're going to notice the colors changed. It was green, now it's blue, and the status is on the way. So at a glance, you're going to know what your drivers are doing at all times. And at the end of the trip, your driver can summarize the trip, uh, add a tip. Or, I'm sorry. He takes his trip, or he takes his phone, hands it to the passenger in the back seat. The passenger can add a tip and then do a signature capture and then it'll automatically charge the credit card. Also, when we click on our GPS button, what we're doing here is we're tracking the GPS inside of your driver's smartphones. So this will have a map of all of your cars driving around and what their status is. So here's my driver and his status is he's in the middle of a trip, so he's not available. So let's go check out the Limo Anywhere network. We have 4,200 companies using us worldwide. These are all of the countries where we have customers. And I click on the United States, and it takes it a while to load here because there's a ton there. And then I've got all my states here. Let's go take a look at New York. So there are 15 per page, as you can see right here. We've got 41 pages of companies just in New York alone. And we can come over here to view. And here's all of our information on this company. Here's what their company names. Uh, here's what website, you can go look at their website. Here's what their cars look like. Um, any text they want to add. Here's the airports that they say that they service. The guy over there's name is Amin. There's his phone number. And if you come to an agreement with this guy, you can establish an affiliate relationship, and now you guys can push trips back and forth between each other inside the software. So this is also going to generate business for you. So let's go take a look at the accounting section. So here is our settlement screen, and what this is, is this is your checks and balances system to make sure that you get paid on every single trip that you do. And if everybody with your company did their job correctly, at the end of the day, we're going to put a check in this box, and all of these are going to load with checks. Right now, I've got one that will not take a check, and that means I got a problem. My problem is the trip is done. We delivered our passenger, Harry. The problem is he was supposed to pay in cash, and he didn't. We still got an outstanding balance. So we're going to call our driver, and we say, hey, driver, Curly, what happened with that? And he said, oh, yeah, I did it. He paid me cash. It's right here in my pocket. So this is our reminder to get that money from him. And when we get the cash, we come over to payments. We got cash in this scenario. We submit it. It automatically just emailed a receipt to our passenger. We've now got an outstanding balance of zero. When I close this up and I come over and I put a check in this box, now I can get checks in all of them. So the invoice customer, the exception to the rule about the check over here, is this guy. He has a balance outstanding, but the reason why we can still get a check and be done with him is because he is an invoice customer. With invoice customers, I don't have to worry about the $190 today because he's paying at the end of the week or the end of the month. So I'm going to keep going until I get checks in all of these trips, and then I batch settle them, and they're zeroed out. When they're zeroed out, my day is done. I get to go home. So at the end of the week or the end of the month, whenever you're running invoices, you'll come over to receivables. 
and we click on receivables and now here's everybody that we need to build invoices for so I come over to this company and I double click and there's three trips that I've done for him since the last time I built invoices I'm gonna add all three of these trips to one invoice and this is what my invoice looks like when I hit save changes it automatically just emailed our billing contact Doug and now when Doug sends me a check I'm gonna come over to receive payment and Doug sent me a check in our pretend scenario here and the check was for 160539 I'm going to apply it to this invoice I do save payment now Doug Evil has dropped off of our list he's no longer there and if you ever want to see a list of your problem people you can go over to outstanding invoices these are all your past dues these are the guys you need to get on the phone payables works in exactly the same way only now we're taking care of your drivers your affiliates and your agents and what an agent is is that is like a concierge or a travel agent or anybody who you tell them anyone you send my way I'm gonna pay you five dollars a head so then you can run a nice invoice and it'll show all ten people that he referred to you and how much you owe them and they'll know that you're taking good care of them reports once we have the data in here we can slice and dice this any way you want to see it we can select a date range we can do it by your customer we can do it by payment method more importantly payment status you can do it by driver by affiliate you can see what marketing is working for you and we can output it as a web page or as an Excel spreadsheet something else to show you is right over here this is a universal search field we can search by phone number name pretty much anything unique this is going to find it so when somebody's calling you that's what you'll do is you'll automatically type in the number right here and it'll automatically find them so that is an introduction to the limo anywhere software please give us a call at 888-888-0302 and hit extension one for the sales department and we would love to talk to you and explain to you in more detail um, look forward to talking to you thanks